Hello and welcome to Geek K Plays Mini Bites Edition. I'm Mel, and this is a short, five-ish minute intro and mini review into the game Doctor Who The Edge of Reality. Okay, they could have filled this blank space with the theme song, because we haven't gotten it yet, and that's really disappointing. Would have given me something to think about while this loads. Slowly. Oh no! I'm in a laundromat! Why am I in a laundry mat? Am I supposed to do laundry? Oh, I hope not. Okay, I can open the door. But not do the clothes. Okay. Whew. I don't have to do laundry. Alright. Oh, I can't pick up the soap, though. Maybe not a good sign. And open more of these. Okay. Can't interact with any of these things. Sorry for the jerky motion. I'm trying to... I gotta get this indicator to see what I can interact with. It means the view is a little bit not smooth. Okay. Can I leave this room? There's somebody in there. No. Okay. Can't leave. Don't want to do laundry. How about I go over here and leave? No. Okay. Nothing else in here. Okay, I can open more of those. Right. This would be a good time for any of the doctors to show up and um, have something exciting happen. Save me from this mundane life in this mediocre laundromat that it turns out I can't escape. What's buzzing? Are there clues over here? No. Oh, okay. in the laundromat. No, we're back in it. Oh, gross. I take back every bad thing I said about the previous laundromat. Okay, I want to get out of there this whole time. Looks like there's only one exit through the back door in the manager's office. Be careful, and whatever you do. Huh. 
Okay, folks. Well, sorry, but this is where the review ends. I could only play it for a couple more minutes more and I had to stop. Um, you see, the next section has three big problems. One, the lights flicker horribly and all the time, and it's painful to watch. For epilepsy warning reasons, I don't even want to record it. Two, it doesn't become any more obvious what you should interact with, what's important, what's not. There are so many things you can pick up, but they seem to have no purpose, like the doors on the laundry beds. It just becomes very, very frustrating. Three, the question, the quest instructions are audible and they're on a loop. So she gives you the instructions, look for the clues to get the combination of the safe. And then again, and then again. So after the, about the fourth time she said it, while I was struggling to interact with a billion things in a messy office and dealing with a flashy light headache, I'd had enough. So if you were interested, uh, you could try it out. I'm gonna give it a pass. So that's it for this stream. Uh, you can find more content on geekcavepodcast.com. Thanks for watching, and remember, everyone's a geek for something.